Hi and welcome to this Yamaha Discovery video. Today we'll be taking a look at how to create a simple recording on your Clavinova CSP digital piano. Recording on CSP has been made very easy using the Smart Pianist app. There's various ways to record using the app, so let's first understand the differences between the two recording file formats, MIDI and audio. Recording a MIDI file is really like recording a set of computer instructions or code that the instrument recognises to play back the notes that you played and the way that you played them. Therefore, once recorded, you'll need to play back either on your CSP or another instrument that has MIDI capability. The benefit of recording a MIDI file is you can change and edit things as well as adding additional tracks. Recording an audio file is, well, as it says on the tin, recording the sound as it happens. This is great because you can also record vocals and other instruments. Once recorded, this file can then be played on any device capable of playing audio files, making it very convenient to share with your friends. But for now, let's take a look at how to make a simple recording on piano. We'll cover more in-depth features in future videos. Simply tap the red record icon at the bottom left of the screen. You'll then see the instrument is asking how you'd like to record, as an audio file or as a MIDI file. Now, if you just want to record yourself playing the piano, or in other words, just one track, and you don't want to do anything else but listen to it back, record either an audio file or a MIDI file. Tap New Song, tap Record, and play a song. When you're finished playing, tap the flashing record button to end recording. You can play back your performance before saving it, or if you like, rename it by tapping the song name. Tap save to save your recorded performance to your smart device. Now go to the song section and press start. You'll hear the track you've just recorded being played back. Now, going one stage further, we can also set up the app, not just to record, but also to view what you've played notated beautifully on screen. Now, to do this, we need to set up a few extra things before we start recording, just so that the music will be notated and displayed correctly. We're going to record a MIDI file. This is how the instrument understands the notation and is able to score. Now, as we'll be recording left and right hands, the left hand should be displayed on the bass clef and the right hand displayed on the treble clef. Therefore, we need to record two channels, left and right. To do this, we first need to set the left voice to match the right voice. Tap the top left menu and go to voice. Now I can see my main voice is set to CFX Grand, so I need to set my left voice to the same. This is so the same voice covers the whole keyboard. Left is CFX Grand and right is CFX Grand. Tap left and tap the picture. Tap piano and select CFX Grand from the list. Tap done. Now go to the top right settings menu and in octave, ensure that all the voices are set to zero. This means the sound played on the keyboard for each part is set to the correct octave. Tap done. Now ensure that the keyboard split slider is set to B2. This means anything played with your left hand below this point will be displayed on the bass clef and anything played above displayed on the treble clef. Tap the record menu button, select MIDI, new song, then tap record. 
I'll just play a simple scale. When you're finished, simply tap stop. Now go through the same procedure as before by naming and saving the performance. Go to song, select your performance and tap play. Your song has now been converted to a score. You'll also notice stream lights showing which keys were played. Using the left and right buttons, you can now play back either track individually. To repeat sections of the piece, use the A B button. You can also adjust the tempo, perfect for practice. There's lots more to learn about recording with many more useful features on board CSP, which we'll discover in other discovery videos. Thanks for watching, enjoy your instrument, and I'll see you next time on Yamaha Discovery.